Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gemba Red, and today we're going to look at if colors shift uh, from a red light therapy panel. We've heard this occasionally from um, some consumers that they'll get their panel and then, uh, you know, it might appear red at first. And then over time during use, it appears the, the colors shift to more of a yellowish. And, um, you know, we hear this a lot with this this panel, the Escrow VIG 1000 and, and some of the Escrow panels, and then obviously some of their um, companies that they rebrand to. And um, one of the things we're going to look for is if the peak wavelength or the wavelength distribution is shifting uh, downwards towards the, the yellow end of the spectrum, right? Um, so, you know, even when I was on friendly terms with escrow, one of their representatives asked me this question and say, they said, you know, they've gotten multiple customers complaining about this and curious about this. And I, I told them this idea for an experiment. All you have to do is turn on a panel, check the spectrum right, right when you turn it on while the panel's cool, and then let it run for, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, let everything kind of heat up, and then see if the spectrum shifts. And, it, you know, it is well documented that um, colors can shift, uh, the wavelength can shift a little bit with temperature for LEDs. So it's not a, a, a crazy idea. So we're going to test it out. We're going to just look at red. We're just looking at red, since obviously that's the biggest question. It looks like a normal 616 nanometer red to my eye right now. You know, you can kind of see it on the camera. Um, and then we'll check it with the spectrometer. We're about eight, we're about eight, eight inches away. And uh, I've got it set so it'll tell me the dominant peak. The dominant is, uh, or the peak is uh, 660. And then the dominant, which is kind of an average number, that's um, 652. So we're at 660 peak, which is, uh, you know, right on the money. And then dominant is 652. We're at, at about 8 inches away, but, um, and, you know, the intensity is 45 milliwatts per centimeter squared. Um, but we're not looking at intensity, so we're, we're eight inches away, and we've just got red on. And then I'm going to turn on both wavelengths, so that way it heats up faster. And then I'm going to retest in about ten minutes. So, And we'll see if this spectrum shifts down, then we'll know, you know, you could perceive a color shift. Otherwise, it's just an uh, optical illusion for your human eye adjusting to the, the brightness. Okay, so it's been ten minutes later. I'm going to turn off the near infrared just so I can get a nice clean um, spectrum and we're gonna recheck it about the same positioning that we did before okay so what we've got here is now um, the intensity is actually a little lower and that's interesting but again this isn't about intensity um, the dominant wavelength, so that's, like I said, it's more of an average, that's 639. So that's shifted down. But then the peak wavelength is 662.9, so it's almost 663. So that's increased. So the peak actually creeps up, and I've seen that before with increased temperature, the peak actually creeps up. But we see the dominant actually went down, right? Wasn't it about... Um, 650 so the dominant shifted down so that means we could be getting a little bit more yellow in this spectrum and remember the human eye is much more sensitive to yellow than it is to, to red so even if you're getting a trace amount more yellow your human eye is much more sensitive to, to yellow so yellow could be kind of taking over your visual kind of perception and you could see that shift is, is more of a yellowish or maybe orangish and that could explain why we're seeing that shift downward. So it's the average, and it's, so it's basically a wider, you know, maybe we could download this. If we got a, a wider range, that's what the dominant's kind of telling us, that, that now it's got a little bit more of a yellowish hue to it. So that does kind of explain what, what some people are seeing. So it's been another 10 minutes, uh, so the panel's been on for, for over 20 minutes now, and we'll just do uh, one more test for curiosity.
I like to do a bunch of different um, measurements. So uh, here we've got the dominant is at uh, 640. The peak's still at um, 662.9, so almost 663. So that's the same as before. And the dominant settled in at about uh, 640. Um, so again, it does does seem like the the maybe the spectrum is a little bit broader, you know, towards that tail end, towards the 600s, towards the yellow end of the spectrum. So that's why you could perceive, um, you know, a shift to being more of a brighter yellow or or brighter orange ish, um, even though it starts out when it's cool, um, it, it's got a slightly different spectrum so that that kind of explains what 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 we're seeing